All right, guys, the uh, Barnes & Noble Criterion sale is just about a month away or so, and I wanted to point out some movies I think you should probably get or consider. If you don't have them already, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to go for the uh, for all the obvious choices, but I might. I've got some lined up in front of me here that I think are well worth your consideration and uh, well worth you purchasing. And some of them are obvious. I'm going to start with an obvious one and then kind of go from there. The first one, I've already and I've already put it in the must-have uh, Blu-rays or must-have movies, actually. So get this one whether you get it on Blu-ray or DVD. It's from 1954. It's uh, 207 minutes long. Spine number two, Seven Samurai by Akira Kurosawa. Kurosawa is a genius. He does a lot of things exceptionally well. Seven Samurai might be his masterpiece. I think it is, but some other people tell you it's Ron. Or I think it's Seven Samurai, so I'm usually right on these things, right? Uh, go ahead and pick this one up. You can't go wrong. If you like adventure mixed with some comedy and, and high drama, and you're going to like Seven Samurai. So pick up Seven Samurai. Great movie by Akira Kurosawa. All right, that's, that's the first recommendation. Now let me go in another direction. You know, in my when I say another direction, I think universally Seven Samurai is considered a wonderful film. Uh, this one, well, this one probably is too. Now that I think about it, so go ahead and get this one too. Uh, I love this movie. Uh, it is spine number three hundred and seventy-four. It's on DVD. It's not on Blu-ray. I don't care. It's one of my favorite Criterion's. It's only eighty-nine minutes long. Uh, from 1948, but lots of extras on this, and including a pretty thick book. Um, I love this movie. I don't know. Um, it's hard to explain why. It's very emotional for me to watch it. Um, but it's a great movie, and I'm going to recommend that you pick this one up before it goes away. And that is Bicycle Thieves. I've, I've come to realize that Vittorio De Sica or De Sica, is one of my favorite directors of all time, too. He has a way of depicting human emotion that's very raw. Um, he, a lot of the folks he used weren't even actors. Amazing. They were just people. And he got such wonderful just imagery from them, or from their faces and from their emotions. It's, it's, it's inspiring. Um, this is the story of post-war Italy, where it was almost impossible to find a job, and the story of a man and his family whose future hangs on a bicycle, or so it would seem. Bicycle Thieves. Highly recommend that one. If you don't own it, go get it. It's going to be another one you're not going to be sorry you got. You'll be happy, happy, happy. Now, you know, uh, cri the uh, Criterion Collection has a lot of box sets. You know, uh, Bicycle Thieves is probably twenty nine ninety nine, I think, something like that. So you'll be able to pick that one up fairly cheaply for about 15 bucks, probably. Um, I don't think it's out of print. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not. But here's one that's a little more expensive, but well worth it. Um, this, um, I'm not going to show you a lot of uh, box sets, but I'm going to show you this one, because I think this one's really great. Um... This is a uh, cinematic trio of stories uh, about love and loss. Uh, it's spy number 588, 589, and 590, all from uh, Christoph Kislowski. And this is three colors, blue, red, and white. Really, really like this one, guys. Um, the movies are all over the board as far as the uh, length and things. 98 minutes, 91 minutes, and 99 minutes. I guess that's not too far off. Uh, red and, no, I'm sorry, white and blue were made in 1993 and red in 1994. There are eh, some similarities between them. Uh, they're, they're in French and sometimes in French and Polish. Um, yeah, really good stuff, though. Koslowski, uh, Koslowski does some, some wonderful things. I love the imagery in these. In, in in blue, you'll see a lot of blue imagery and white, a lot of white imagery, and in red, a lot of red, red imagery throughout the film. So if you like that kind of stuff and stories about love and loss, you'll probably 
you'll probably dig this one. And and I, I show this one because a lot of people want to get the bargain. And when you when you get it for half price and you're and this thing's probably maybe sixty bucks, so you're saving thirty dollars. It feels good to save that kind of money. So I would recommend this one quite highly. Let me tuck this one back in and go on to another one. Now there are so many that I could recommend, but let me let me go with a couple documentaries because you know not you wouldn't always think of documentaries as being something that, that you'd get. These are this one's on uh, DVD also. This is Hoop Dreams. Whether you're a basketball fan or not, this is the story of a couple of guys who really had dreams of being NBA stars and how hard they worked, the kind of their rise up from high school into college and then ultimately what happens to them. But it's a really fascinating film. Uh, it is 171 minutes long. It is a documentary. There are tons of extras on it as well. And I highly recommend it. It's filmed over a five-year period, by the way. A lot of pressure on the uh, Chicago streets and the pressures of family life. It's a landmark documentary about two remarkable families who challenged the American dream. Hoop dreams. And the other one I want to recommend is a Blu-ray. Now, there's tons of, of uh, documentaries, too, but I'm going to go with this one. It's just quirky enough. Uh, I really found it interesting. I don't know, 120 minutes, 1995. It's in color, but a lot of it's in black and white. It's Crum. Uh, this dude, Crum, is the dude that drew a lot of artwork. Um, i trying to remember what he drew, like uh, Keep on Trucking, Grateful Dead's kind of stuff. Get a unique art f work. Uh, it's a unique artist, I guess. And that's, that's the kind of drawings he does. That's some sick crap, but uh, that's pretty much what he looks like, self-portrait. I recommend Chrome quite a bit and Hoop Dreams. So those are, if you like documentaries. Now, you know, if you don't like documentaries, don't buy them. If you already have them, obviously don't buy them again. But, you know, you gotta, you got you to gotta help me out a little bit here. I try to do broad recommendations for a lot of types of folks who might like a lot of different types of pictures uh, based upon my knowledge of the Criterion Collection. <clears throat> now, you can't go wrong with this one right here. This is a DVD. I don't believe it's been out on Blu-ray. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not because I probably wouldn't get it if it, if it was. Well, these are just a little bit snug in here. I'll have to do something about that. I haven't tried, tried to take these out in a while. so Okay, it still works. Uh, one of my favorite Criterions of all time, and it's another documentary. I guess I'm a sucker for documentaries, and I said I, I like sad ones. This one's kind of sad, too. Not a ton of extras on this, but I don't care. It's just, it, it, this thing pulls me in every time I watch it. I'm, I'm fascinated by this. And it's called Salesman. Uh, I don't see this a lot out there. You could probably pick it up for 15 bucks. I bet you it's $29.99. It's a film by the Males uh, Brothers, M.A. Males Brothers. I think they also did uh, Grey Gardens and the Beals of Grey Gardens, which is also a pretty good documentary. But this one, to me, these Bible salesmen that go door to door trying to sell this expensive Bible to these families that really can't afford it in the early 60s, trying to put them on finance plans and you know, they're, they're, it shows uh, the, the camera took one right into the houses with these with these people, and then, of course, <clears throat> later on they all get together and compare notes. You know who sold what. You know who's 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 not who's not a good salesperson. You know, these sales guys are you know pretty much ragging on each other whenever they can. Salesman, great Criterion movie, a documentary I should say. So those are some documentaries. Uh, I showed you a couple of. Um, uh, movie movies. I'm going to do a couple more movie movies. I think this one, and, and Aaron Penn had this one in his. I would highly agree. Uh, the, the film by uh, Charles Lawton called The Night of the Hunter. I think it's Robert Mitchum's greatest performance ever. He's just so good in this. and He's so evil, and yet not necessarily over-the-top psycho killer evil, but evil nonetheless. Yeah, great, uh, great cast. 
Lillian Gish is in this, the silent film star. She's in this and does a, just plays a great role there. Two discs. This is the Blu-ray, 93 minutes, 1955 movie. It's in English. No subtitles. Spine 541. I wouldn't hesitate to pick this one up. Night of the Hunter. Charles Lawton's only movie he ever directed. But boy, the scenes in this, the the, the use of lighting and, and uh, some of the camera angles that he gets, really amazing stuff. Really, really good. Really like it. <clears throat> Highly recommend it. Another one I think is, is for me, a must-own. And that is, you know, I think everybody should, just like I think everybody should have a Kurosawa movie, I think everyone should own one by Ozu. This one's Tokyo Story. This is a story about, and this one, this one touches me too. My parents are getting older now, so it really does kind of hit a, hit, a, hit a note somewhere. Um, the parents are getting older, and, and it's the children of the parents and how they deal with them and kind of what happens. Yeah, post-war Tokyo. It really is a reflection. And, and, you know, Ozu does this very well. These simple stories of, of just life and families. and just I have a reverence for this one, as you might be able to tell. A Tokyo Story is just a wonderful film. I highly recommend it. And again, your taste may vary. So if, if your taste is not in that direction, then stay away from some of my recommendations because I, that's a lot of what I recommend is, is that. You know, if you want something a little bit more uh, adventure but not uh, too much more so, I'm going to recommend this this movie by uh, Roy Ward Baker. Uh, it's spine number seven. I'd get it on Blu-ray because it's amazing. Transfer, 1958, 123 minutes. Forget everything else you've seen about the Titanic. This is the one you want, A Night to Remember. It's the most factual, from what I can put piece together. It's the most well done. And it does have a dramatic, I mean, the, the finish is dramatic on this. That boat goes into the sea, and who would have thought it? Nobody. This is a wonderful movie. I, I watched it when I was a kid, and it hit me, and it, and it hits me even today when I watch it, because it's just so goddamn dramatic. Who would have figured? And it's real life. It really freaking happened. Just amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. Well, here's another one for you. I, I can't have a, a list of criteria that you ought to consider without having one by, by Ingmar Bergman. And for me, this was the one. I've got others by Bergman, and I'm not even sure this is his best movie, but it is for me. The Seventh Seal. Long parody, the, the chess game with death, the night traveling the countryside, the townspeople. Simple as they might be with their rituals and so on. I think it's a great, great movie. The Seventh Seal by Ingmar Bergman. This one I would say definitely get. And it's the first Criterion I think I bought. If not the first one, it was right, it was right up there. I probably got time maybe for one more recommendation. The boy I've been meandering on and on and on. And, and there's so many good ones here to recommend. You know, you hate to you hate to leave anything out, and yet uh, there's just a ton to recommend here. So I'm going to go with ah, uh, tough, tough, tough. But I got I, how can I leave out Federico Fellini? So I'm going to go with this one because a lot of them are out of print. I'm going to go with Amacord. Amacord, it's just a great movie. It's about it's about some sort of recollections of his childhood. It's not an exact duplication, but it's inspired by some recollections of his childhood and then dramatized from there. Great, great movie. Great artwork on this one. I'd highly recommend this one, too. It's spine number four. MR Chord by Federico Fellini. All right, well, good hunting out there next month. I'd be curious to see what everybody gets and what I get. I've got some things in mind. I already got Red River out of the way. That was one of the ones I wanted to get. I've got a couple others in, on, on, in my head that I think I'm going to get. And we'll see what comes up. It's always interesting to go there and, and hunt. See you guys.